Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. This evening I'm super excited to be off to the Marlowe Theatre to see Rocky Horror Show. I'm very, very excited. Obviously a few weeks ago I spoke to Joe Allen who is in the tour and I just can't wait to see this. It's always a good time when I see it. Very, very excited. And then also this week I'll be off to the Cinderella Panto launch for the brand new Panto at the new Wimbledon Theatre. So I'm very excited and we're chatting to some of the stars which is going to be amazing. So this is the start of a very exciting weekly vlog. Lots going on this week, so I'm going to take you along with me and I hope that you enjoy it. Let's go. Came in to Tortilla. I love that they do Arizona iced tea, that's my fave. Last minute orange nails. I've got orange trainers, orange shirt. I'm going for a orange look tonight and now I'm going to do orange lipstick to match Chloe's hair. <laughs> Brilliant, let's go. Go for it. Put the lip it on. It's orange lipstick too. Should I, should I like pout? Um, you're supposed to, aren't you? <laughs> no, you're not. No. So Chloe's now done my lipstick. Are you excited for Rocky Horror? Yay. So you are a Rocky Horror virgin, aren't you? You've never seen it before. Never. Are you excited? I'm very excited? I know that you know one of the songs though, don't you? Sweet Transvestite. You know that one. You've been singing it. You have. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. you don't realise you're doing it, which is brilliant. It's such a classic. Um, but yeah, nails, lips, orange outfit, orange hair, black and white. We're very excited. Oh, we're so without further ado, should we go inside? Let's go. Let's go. Iconic curtains. We are just in the interval, Rocky Horror. How are you finding it? Really good. It is yeah. amazing, isn't it? It is so much fun. I love this cast, they're amazing. Stephen Webb, as um, doing Sweet Transvestite, always gets me. He is phenomenal, isn't he? Really? Oh, I'm just the, the, there's Richard as well as, um, he's playing Brad, he's brilliant. All of them are, they're all fantastic. But it's super camp, super fun. Are you looking forward to that too? Yes. Yes, cheers. So we just left Rocky Horror at the Marlowe Theatre. What did you think, Chloe? Right. <laughs> it is honestly absolutely fantastic. I love the show. I've seen it so many times now, but every single time it just surprises me. The cast are absolutely phenomenal, aren't they? They're amazing. Just like, yeah. wow, the vocals, the dance moves, the outfits. Yeah. Woohoo! I wish I could rock an outfit like that. Maybe I can. I feel empowered yeah, after seeing that, don't Anyone you? Can, yeah. Don't you feel like really empowered and you feel really sexy after it? It's great. Um, but Stephen Webb as Frank and was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. What did you make of him? He was... Chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Hayley Flaherty as Janet. Oh my goodness. She's so cheeky really and good. cute and brilliant, really isn't good. she? Yeah. Great voice too. Yes. Richard Meek as Brad. I love him. I've seen him in many, sh a few shows before, like and every single time he just gives, gives, gives. Oh, we've got a Rocky Horror Red because the car in front has got the, got the right lights. So, oh, can they keep those on for the thumbnail? Let's smile for the thumbnail. <laughs> Perfect. And then Joe Allen, of course, who I was lucky enough to interview via Zoom. If you haven't checked it, I will link it below. He played three different roles and was absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, whatever happened to Saturday night was just amazing, wasn't it? He so rocked good. out. And then, of course, he was Eddie, Dr. Scott, and Phantom. And as Dr. Scott, he was also awesome. Really, really, really funny. funny. Yeah. He was very cheeky. <laughs> and then you had Darcy Finden as Columbia, who was absolutely incredible. Christian Lavacombe as Riff Raff. Honestly, that voice. 
How he reaches those Very high notes good. amazes me. And then you've got Susie Mc McAdam as Magenta. She was beautiful and stunning. Yeah. Literally, this whole cast is stunning. And then she Ben did. West had as Rocky. Fantastic. You said, as soon as you came out, you were like, it's Ken! I was like, no, that's Rocky. Because so, obviously, it's Rocky. It's got Ken vibes. Yeah, I mean, he had leopard print pants, not the gold ones this time, which mm. I quite quite liked, they which were fun. fun. Um, but then he had so many others. Like, the full ensemble were absolutely amazing. And this show is super fun. It's also on tour. But it's just such a feel-good show. We loved so it, good. didn't we? So fun. We really did. Well, it's time to go home now. Thanks so much for watching this. Um, there's going to be more to this weekly vlog, of course. I'm off to interview Craig from Strictly tomorrow. Oh, darling. Very, very excited. Uh, that is for the Cinderella Panto launch at the New Wimbledon Theatre. So I've been very busy, very excited. And I'm taking you along with me every week. Hopefully you'll enjoy these vlogs. Whoop, whoop. But it was so lovely to see you, Chloe. Thanks for the lift, as always. And we're heading home. Let's go! Bye. Woo! Okay, so today's the day I'm off to Fulham Palace to interview the cast of Cinderella who are the brand new panto cast for the new Wimbledon Theatre Panto this year. One of them is Craig from Strictly, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, and then we've also got Pete Furman, who I love. I've been a fan of his for years, so very much looking forward to chatting to him. Um, but before then, it's almost 10 a.m., which means I'm going to try for Rush tickets. Now, I've heard so much about this. It's at Regent's Open Air Theatre. It's called Le Cage au Fol. Hopefully I pronounce it that right pronounce it i pronounced it right hopefully le cage au full i'm pretty sure that's how you say it um but yeah it's meant to be an incredible musical and i'm very very excited about it so fingers crossed i can get those tickets i will update you in five minutes but yeah obviously in this video you'll find out straight away um but let's hope i can get a ticket if not it's all good i'm still going to london to have a great time and i'll probably try for another show if not rush tickets were a success yay i'm in row s of the upper so right at the back but second to last row and i'm also on the end of a row which makes me very very happy um so i'll let you know what the view's like when i go so come along with me we're going to go to the panto launch and then we're going to see le cage au fol later today at regent's park open air theater let's go so it's a beautiful day in london and the sun is shining and i'm just heading to fulham palace the best part about where the location is is that you get to walk through some lovely parks on the way and of course it is a palace so quite perfect and fitting for Cinderella. My interviews start at 1pm so I wanted to get the off-peak train in which is great and yeah I should be chatting to all of the cast which you'll see in my shorts videos with the microphone. I might insert some clips in this vlog but yeah for now I'll just show off a bit of the palace and you can head on over to check out the interviews on my shorts channel it's actually on this channel but under the shorts tab you can check out my interviews with the cast today just... so i'm just arriving there's a map just here and i believe the palace is right up here oh it's cute it literally is giving cinderella vibes perfect location when we're done wow I'm guessing I'm going through here. Museum and shop, who knows? Who knows which way I'm going? So here I am with Daniel Norford, who plays Dandini. Are you excited? Oh, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Yay! <laughs> so I'm just here with the lovely Pete Furman. I've just interviewed him for Cinderella. He's playing Buttons, are you excited? Very excited, can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. I saw you previously, I think it was 2018 or 19. 2019, wasn't it? 2020, yeah, yeah, just before the Paddy D. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again at Wimbledon this Christmas. See Thanks, Pete. I'm just here with Craig Revel Hallwood, who is playing the Wicked Stepmother in Wimbledon this Christmas. Are you excited? I cannot wait. It's, it's going to be, be awesome. fabulous. <laughs> fabulous indeed. Can't wait. So I'm just here with Alison Jaya, who plays the Fairy Godmother in Cinderella. Are you excited for this year? I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Woohoo! And of course, we were just talking about songs, which you love to dance to. You had quite a few to choose from, didn't you? I have. I have quite a few songs to choose from. <laughs> great taste, great taste. But we just had a sing song, didn't we, to Mighty Real? Yeah, Which we is was. a classic. We yeah. love that. Anything disco, anything with a good beat. <laughs> love it. Well, thank you so much, Alison. Thank you so much. So I'm just here with Solomon Davy, who plays Prince Charming in Cinderella, and it's also in Greece in the West End currently. We went before, didn't we? We did, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> it was such a blur that night. <laughs> anyway, we just had a chat about Cinderella. How excited are you to be playing Prince Charming? Very excited. It's a it's a bit of a full circle moment for me because I covered the part last year yeah. in Cinderella uh, in Bristol. So now to get to actually have the role myself is, yeah, really nice. That's super exciting. Well, it's lovely to meet you, Solomon, lovely and I'll see you, you at Christmas. Yeah, Thank see you. you. Then. Bye, guys. 
So I'm just here with Cassie Compton, who is playing Cinderella. How exciting. <laughs> are you excited? Yes, very. Of course, we just had a lovely chat about the show, but are you excited to bring Cinderella to London again? Yes, can't wait. It's going to be it's gonna be so awesome. Can you tell? I'm super excited. I'm buzzing as well. All I've got is just, all I can say is like, it's magical, it's amazing, and I'm so excited, because I am. What a cast as well, what a cast. You excited yes. to work with Craig as well? I'm very excited to work with Craig. I'm excited to work with, I was just saying earlier, you know, this cast are insanely brilliant. Um, and I know a lot of them have done this show together before. So I feel like it's big shoes to fill stepping in. But um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. As soon as you put those glass slippers on, you are going to be amazing. <laughs> Have the best time. And I look Thank forward to seeing you at Christmas. See Thank you. So, just left the Cinderella Panto Press launch, which was brilliant. Did you have fun, Ellie? Oh, I had a blast. Free food, I love it. <laughs> it was really good. I've got free food. I'm actually carrying food right now. Yeah. Um, I just thought I'm out Craft. all day, so might as well. Um, but if you haven't checked out Ellie's channel, please do. I will link Stop. it below. It's called Stop. Ellie Talks Theatre, isn't it? Correct? Yes, that is correct. There you go. Go check it out. And Ellie's about to go and record with Mickey Joe. You're doing a challenge, is yes. that right? Uh, <laughs> yes, I've got to run about London and go to the theatres. It's going to be chaos um, does sound but like I it i thrive in chaos so well i hope you have fun so i decided to have some pre-show grub this is all 14 pound 50 which i think is quite good actually yeah, beef burger added, bacon and the younger ring. Very nice. So I'm just in the interval, I'm absolutely loving it. Carl Milani is absolutely incredible in the lead role in this. Honestly, so blown away. I am what I am was absolutely phenomenal. Also, how cute is this by night? It's adorable. Anyway, the full cast are incredible. I just am so blown away by it. I cried so emotional, but it's incredible and I can't wait for act two. just got back from seeing the casual fall at the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. It was incredible. I had the most amazing night. Honestly, run to see it. There's not long left to catch it. Oh, I'm so blown away. Carl Milani was just absolutely unreal. So see it. Tonight, I'm off to see Busted at the Brighton Centre and it is such a stunning day. I can't even, the weather is perfect. So I thought I'd go down the beach. I've got my original Busted scarf that I got in 2004 when I first saw them live when I was about 10 years old. So I'm excited for Busted 2.0, their 20th anniversary tour. Let's go. Look who it is, Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Slim chickens I've gone for for dinner. Very nice. Oh look, it looks like we've gone to the dark, but we're officially at the barrier. Made it. Oh yeah, so excited, you're excited. I'm beyond excited. It's gonna be amazing. I can't believe the setup. The stage is so cool, like they've got a whole ring there. And then they've got the centre right here. Big so, walkways. Walkways just there. It's all happening. This feels like the era's tour for Busted, doesn't it? Like 2.0, 20 years. The era's tour for the man band. Literally, it literally is. Can't wait.
so busted were absolutely incredible last night. I actually ran out of memory on my camera, so I switched to my mobile phone. But yeah, I had a blast. It was incredible. And tonight I'm off to see Crazy For You in London. I bagged a 15 pound ticket, which is brilliant at the Julian Lynn Theatre. Can't wait to see Charlie Stepp. It's gonna be amazing. So I got two for the price of one. She just gave me extra. Love that. So tonight I'm very excited to be off to see Crazy For You. Let's go. These seats are so, like, tall. Just left Crazy For You, I absolutely friggin loved it. Charlie Stemp is a superstar, still the star of the West End. Absolutely insane, I loved it. Thanks for watching this. If you did enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.